What were you doing, Stephanie? That's fine. It doesn't matter. Well, we were draining our days away. Outside, Dio. Hey, I'll go explore. Wow. There's so much to explore. We've definitely not been everywhere already. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Is that a new side quest or just the same thing broken again? Is that a new side quest or are you just happy to see me? Wait, wait. I just got re mad at this game again. Have you noticed the thing that we've never mentioned on the screen yet? That would be really nice to have access to? A refresh? No. Close. Very close Home? to where that button is. A, A little budget? south. Uh, 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 the quest logs. Yeah. What? Wouldn't it have been nice to have that? This is all I can do. This <laughs> is up and down over and over. There's a fucking quest log in this game, but there's not. Like, they put it on the screen. Like, oh, that would have been nice, huh? Anyway. That's almost, yeah, it's almost as if they were making fun of you, Keith. Fuck you, game. Jesus, let me click on the quest. Can I click? Mouse. Where's my mouse? <laughs> you, like, break the game no, by I'm, using your real mouse no, to, like, play no. with their fake computer. No, I can't. I, I can't bring my mouse onto the screen. That would be it very... Doesn't register the mouse. That would be funny, though. Fucking Honestum Kale Mail quest logs. It's these two features plus a third one. Where is it? Did they just not finish it? I could really use a quest log in this game. Game. I don't know how to fucking get anything in this game. Game. No. That's it. We're out of quests. All I can do is run inside of the house over and over again like a fucking lunatic for another week. Well, maybe maybe you'll Whee! get another um like cutscene. I, mean, like, I hope. I hope that it literally doesn't wait until the day of the apocalypse to have story again. That'd be fucking weird. <laughs> It's like it's like Harvest Moon, where like you you go to bed one night and then you wake up and then there's a cutscene and the love of your life's yeah. waiting outside of your door with like a puppy. You know what the best part about Harvest Moon is? That the that part where there's fun. something to do every day. That'd be useful. This is That'd the, be a good feature to have in this game where there's something to do every day. In Harvest Moon, there's something to do every day, even if you don't want to do anything that day. Yeah, it, it forces you to do chores. Because everything's happening every day and yeah. it, and looping and, and iterating. If you don't water your tomatoes that one day, yeah. they're dead. And the harvest season will be over. Why didn't you love your tomatoes enough, Stephanie? I love my tomatoes plenty. Alex doesn't love his tomatoes. He just fucking walks outside, walks back inside, he goes to sleep, and he does that every day for a week, and he calls it training. He's a rotten tomato. This is what he's doing to save the world. <laughs> well, I really hope the world doesn't end up in danger anytime soon. If some guy like Alex has to go <sighs> fix it. He's been out for years, and this is still in it. See, even the- even like the- look at- look at- like his two faces. He strokes his beard in one with his eyes closed, and the other one he, or like, he like strokes his beard in thought, and the other one he like has his eyes closed and he has his hands on his glasses. They picked two very annoying poses. Yep. There, Maybe these days would be a good time to give him an arc. <laughs> look, look, like this is a really, like this is a smug asshole face, and that's a smug asshole face. Yep. Why didn't they think about He's any of these things? Self-appointed philosopher. Well, it, I think they did want him to be an unlikable person that has an arc and grows as a person and becomes like the hero that he that he was meant to be or whatever. They just didn't know how to write that because, it, judging by those tweets and so on by the creator, uh, I think he just is a smug asshole who is insufferable right now and hasn't experienced that growth and change as a person. So he doesn't know how to write it because he can't envision what it's like for him to be a better person because he's still the Alex from the beginning of the game. So he just like... Is he fantasizing? He paid, all he did was pay lip service to it. Alex never became a better person in this game. They just said he did. Like I did it. I'm now at the I'm now at the end of the movie where I'm changed. What is it changed? How? In what way? What happened? So he's fan. You know, changed. He's fantasizing <laughs> about a life in which. Ah! Stop oh, no. signs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Stop. Oh. No. Stop signs. Fuck you. Stop signs. Fuck you! Stop signs! God damn it! No, there's, there's a stop yeah. sign right in front of you right now. This is New Year's Eve Eve. This is the and this is the final evening before the the game ends. Oh. Hi, Alex. Uh, it's me. So, haven't you asked yourself the question yet? You know the important one. Panda? It was definitely just panda. Who is this? Well, it's just Alex's voice actor, yeah. I know. Who is also the panda. Cool. Well, we're running out of time to be cryptic, sir. Uh, the thing ends. I thought you guys already did presents. 
Why are there still presents under the tree? Those are the it's ones. New Year's Eve, Eve, Alex. For extended family members who haven't shown up yet. I, no one loves this guy. You can't trick me. Hi, Alex. It's Sammy. Oh. Is that what she sounded like? It's been so long. It. I. I forgot. <laughs> I don't know what she sounded like. Have you been taking care of my cat? Yes, Dally. He's got a little Salvador Dali mustache, and so he's named Dali. Yes, I know. I know. I'm so proud. Where are you? I don't know how the fuck he has a mustache. I think it's supposed to be whiskers. He, yeah, he just has irreparable whisker damage that's crippled him, and he's afraid to go into <laughs> tunnels because he can't tell if he'll fit. Oh. <laughs> that's what like, the whiskers are for. They help you tell if the body will fit in general and but stuff like that. Sometimes cats Their get spaces. so fat that I feel like they... Well, they're not supposed to get they're fat. They're not supposed to, but it's funny seeing them trying to fit into things they can't fit into anymore. I've read all these books already. No, you haven't. You're fucking so young. Mom read all these books. See, I, I, I believe that book, more yeah, so. Yeah, she's accomplished. Where has she been? It's been a while. <clears throat> Son. Dad? Dad? Where the hell have you been? We were worried sick about you. Also still Alex's voice actor. You said you were just going to bike to Justin's house. Claudio and your mom are freaking out. Claudio and your mom? Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is Claudio my stepdad in this universe? Ew. Dad! Dad? Oh my god. Stop calling me, Panda. Did you figure out the question? What is go screw yourself? <laughs> Jeopardy. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> so right, I'll just stand so here. So tough. Clearly, it's gonna keep ringing. Let me fight stop signs. Damn it. Hey, Alex. It's Sammy. Did you remember to pick up my cat from the dry cleaners? So quirky. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Feed me a cat. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. I want out. Table set for six. It's been a while since we've eaten as Why a family. Why do you have it set? Who? You have six in your family? Who? Uh, he has a sis. So he had a mom and dad. And he has a sister. That's four people. I thought maybe he has more than one sister. I don't remember. Do they invite the cop over? Somebody needs to deal with this toast. It's definitely bad now. It's been like months. <laughs> well, it's, it's bread. It's not even toast yet. Yeah, it's untoasted toast. Pre-toast. Proto-toast. Proto-toast. Toast Hedoro. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's like the anticipation is, is There's nothing troubling. to do here. Just let the story continue. I, I get it. Silly game. Cats don't go to the dry cleaners. Bing, 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 bing. Keeps the season mine. Look good. You're an adult. Why? Why are there? Why are there block channels? Do I need to go upstairs? I believe you have beer. Arrived. I have beer. Oh, cool. The phone is rung. We have been given beer to get us through this experience. A beer delivered. To Cerveza the door. Modelo 1925 is special. Is yeah, it Modelo's pretty good. Special. Jane doesn't have a voice actor, apparently. Hey, Roy! It's Jane! <laughs> Did you know that I died and it's all your fault? Pretty screwed up. Pretty colors in heaven. Is that Rory's sister? I don't know. Her name's his name's not Roy. So. The, 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 the typo in the diary of Roy. Hey, it's Chandra. Have you seen my camera? I think you're thinking about Michael. Yeah, it's like whoa, stuff screwy. Just like Michael said, let's establish this over the course of seventy-five phone calls. It takes six hours. I've had the weirdest dreams. I've been dreaming that I'm a boy. Dreaming that I'm a boy. That dreaming boy. I'm a and that boy dreaming. Isn't that funny? What is that? That isn't funny. Okay. I support your journey. Yeah, whatever makes you. <laughs> Power whatever. to you. Be yourself. Live. Serve us your realness. As the kid fams say. Is that what Yeet. the? Ki <laughs> they, they're serving realness. <laughs> 
Uh, I guess I might have heard that one. Um, I like the, uh, it's a bad look. <laughs> That's the, this isn't it, Chief. This is a bad look, fam. It's a bad look, fam. <laughs> I swear to God. Hey, Alex, it's your mom. When are you coming home? Claudio's waiting for you to watch some cartoons. Dude, Claudio and mom are hooking up. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not YouTuber reacting correctly. What? Whoa! That's that's crazy! I kinda love that. I don't know what's gonna happen next. What I, do you think? I would love if Claudio was your new dad. That'd be so cool. <laughs> Alternate universe daddio. Watch Daddio. <laughs> Watch anime together. Hey Alex, it's Michael. No, hang up, hang up. Hang up. <laughs> Have you seen my hula hoop or my headphones? Oh, don't talk like her. Oh, no. No. No, don't talk like her. Also, I've been thinking about changing my hair. It's getting so big. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that might have not been okay. <laughs> hey! Alex! Help me! That's the Michael we know. Screaming with a dead expression. Like when somebody... Like, like you know when some... Like when... Usually it's a woman. They have a woman uh, on a tell. I think it happened in like Gone Girl. We have like a woman that like murders somebody in cold blood and then immediately picks up the phone and cries and screams hysterically about how you need to send help immediately and her face is completely dead the whole time. That's Michael. <laughs> Ooh. I think that happened in Gone Girl. I feel like. There's a few. Yeah, that does, that does sound like a familiar thing. It's, it's a, kind of scary, I yeah, like it. Yeah, it's really fun because you're like, how the fuck are they doing that? And sometimes it's because they just cheat. Sometimes they just do a voice performance separately and then, then, then they match it. But it's hard to get that perfect, so you, it's best if you can act it. But that's just, like, Michael just does that effortlessly every time because he has emotional problems. <laughs> I'm stuck in the mind dungeon! Why does it sound like that? We've never established that. Oh, so are you stuck in your own mind dungeon? Are you currently... Or are you in our mind dungeon? Is he Neo? Getting digitized? That's what it sounded like. When Neo, like... Yeah, like, is he, he gets covered in, like, liquid metal, and then it goes down his throat or something, and then the camera goes down his throat and it makes that sound. Michael! I know, you don't like The Matrix. I was, was going to say, maybe I'm just a lame-ass person. Everyone likes The Matrix. No. You're weird. Eh. And you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> eh. It's okay. Like, I don't like The Matrix or Foo Fighters, because I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not one of, I'm not one of the regular girls. <laughs> hey, Alex, it's Sammy again. Hi. I can't find you. Where did you go? I'm not moving. You left me at the elevator and you vanished into the crowd. There wasn't a crowd. Why do you always disappear on me like that? You know how much I hate that. I don't know you despite tr pretending I do the whole game. Despite fantasizing about <laughs> you for no over apparent the reason. I knew for 10 minutes. Ooh, who were you on the phone with last night? You're a creep. Well, yeah, it's him. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> it's that? true. Man, I wish I dreamed that. Talk it out. Why do you think you are getting all those strange calls? I have no idea. Because it was Panda. But, Panda. Have you noticed how weird things have been? You're talking yeah, Panda. You've been talking to him? This is a stupid question. <laughs> it's a self. Like the, the the question answers itself. I I don't know. Things are pretty weird, aren't they? Nah, it's probably I'm probably just getting a weird feeling. It's probably nothing, right? Talking panda. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start talking to my dog. She just talks back. I'll know if things have gotten weird. You mean with all the soul survivors, androids, and long-haired punk kids you've been rolling with lately? I haven't seen any punk kids because none of them are cool long enough to be punk, punk kids. kids. It's Rory. Rory. Rory's not a punk kid. He's a scene kid, and he's not even a good one. No. No, even before that. There was no before that. The game didn't start yet. So Alex did not exist. <laughs> when do you think it started? Well, I guess around the time I came home oh, it, from school. Is the whole thing that we're playing the game, and that's why things have gotten weird. And I know this could be just a coincidence, 
but I didn't see my mom for weeks. When I finally did, she changed, and I found myself saying some really bratty things. I don't think that's the different for you. I don't know. Mostly normal. So even Panda knows that he's a brat all the time. Are we are we establishing that there didn't have to be a character arc because he actually was just a better person all along, but he turned into a shitty person the moment the game started for no reason, but we could never know that because we never saw him before the game? <laughs> That's convenient. What kind of fucking plot is that? No, it wasn't. Something is weird. You didn't see your mom because you were Playing completely video games. self-involved. I feel like maybe they might be pointing to us. I think they're trying to be like, whoa, it's a video game, guys. Did you know that? That's what's weird about like, it. That, he's going to be the next time of dialogues and be like, there's been the same two pieces of toast in the toaster for like three months. <laughs> where's Where's my dad been? Don't you remember? Didn't he leave you? Isn't this established already in your brain dungeon brain brain? My dad worked for Pacific Chime. Not my mom. Wait, we're supposed to see it as a crack in reality that your mom is a tech job? No, my, my mom worked for Moon Macro Systems. No, they both oh, have a tech both job. Did. How do you keep them straight? They met at that programming convention. Aw. That's kind of cute. When did my cute. mom start working for Pacific Chime? Can I play that game? You don't have a dad. <laughs> he, said it, he said it so fast so fast and matter of fact and it's such, it such a baffling sentence like in what sense sir please elaborate <laughs> yeah I do of course I do <laughs> they don't have a dad everyone has a dad <laughs> then where is he <laughs> that's that's bulletproof. As long as you don't have object permanence, oh that's gosh. just a bulletproof argument. Nick, do you have I a don't, mom? Because yeah, should, I don't see her. Where, where, is, she? where is she right oh, now? Is, is this poster your mom? Is this video game your mom? <laughs> In some ways, yes. <laughs> He's and then Michael. Is Michael your dad? When did Michael move back to Frankton? Didn't Michael move away when he was 10? When did he move away? Michael, 19, a tall, witty, brown-haired white guy. He's actually said, called someone white instead of normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he called Michael witty. I never felt like there was He's much not. of an age gap when we hung out. The summer he moved to town, we spent a lot of time together. It was back when my sister and I would spend the days outside until the sun went down, counting the accomplishments of those summer days based on the number of mosquito bites and caught fireflies. Michael had moved to the area when he was 12, 1991, the year Michael Stipe of R.E.M. sang Losing My Religion. Why did you have to punctuate it with that beautiful yeah. song? Michael. Don't ruin things. Uh, <laughs> don't make me think about that. Did he, so did he move here when he was 12 or did he move away when he was 10? Is it different universes? It was a peaceful green street at that time. Not a single thing to claim your attention. A handful of little white houses with a few fences, a stream full of crayfish, a two-lane road they pretended was a highway. And then and I saw Michael. Shopping center. He was beautiful. That smile. That damn smile. That witty, <laughs> that beautiful, the eyes that stare vacantly into space. That was it. Most houses had maple trees planted in the yard and brand new, not yet beaten fences. Are you Canadian? And there were all those giant billboards advertising the mall they'd be building right off of 82. The house he moved into was a mid-century model style built sometime around the late 80s. How do you know that? No one knows as much about houses when they're in their 20s. That's weird. Or even, I mean, you would have to know this when he was a kid, though. Yeah. The exterior painted in three shades of green and faded handsomely in the sun and wind and rain to blend in perfectly with the surrounding countryside. I'm sorry, is your house painted as a gradient? That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is, usually the HOA doesn't allow that kind of shit. No. There was a huge yard, and in it several stands of trees and a small pond. There was a quaint little octagonal arbor in amongst the trees that had been used as a studio. Its bay windows hung with lace curtains faded into a nondescript color. Oh, yes, yeah, my favorite shade of color. <laughs> no. I like to get that in my paint swatches. You get you get your swatches at the Home Depot, and they're like, yes, ah, perfect, nondescript. <laughs> this sounds like freaking Dawson's Creek or color something. Color is inherently a description. 
That is true. There is no such thing as nondescript you, color. You could say an undescribable color. Or indescribable color. Or I don't remember. You or, don't have to be fucking pretentious about the fact you don't remember what color it is. <laughs> you could just say, hung with lace curtains faded into a color. <laughs> just into a color. Just one of them. I don't, don't know which one. You don't remember how to end the sentence. You could just not write that part. It's okay. <laughs> Down by the pond, daffodils were in righteous bloom. And every morning, he said birds right, came to He bathe. said, "That's not how you, That's that. Yeah, that's not how you spell righteous." He said "righteous," but it's it's it riotous. riotous. Yeah. Yeah. Which either one, I guess, is okay. But is riotous a word? Does anyone say riotous? Riotous. The yeah. Daffodils rioting. The first owner of the house, also its designer, had been an elderly oil painter, but his lungs gave out on him and he died the winter before Michael moved in. That was in 1990. To hear Billy Joel saying we didn't start the fire. Why? <laughs> He's going after like your favorite people. <laughs> that song is so here. good. <laughs> Billy Joel's your boyfriend. <laughs> and now he's in Y2K. You should tell him that. He'd be so happy to be in Y2K, the best art of 2018. <laughs> I think you're Bob Dylan. Billy Joel's not my boyfriend. <laughs> Billy Joel's okay. Why do they? Oh, well, you're right. I was thinking of Bob Dylan. I yeah. I fucked up bad. We didn't start yeah. the fire. I, that makes me think of the Office episode where they sing that. Didn't he move when I was 12? In or out, you're saying opposite things. When did he move back to Frankton? Why is Michael back in Frankton? Didn't they move to Canada when his dad got that publishing deal? These aren't really interesting plot twists if there were never a question at any point in the game. Yeah. Like this, there's not you're not subverting anything because it's like we didn't have this information. This wasn't so just established. Like, just kidding. Michael's actually your extra friend that was murdered when you were young, and you always remembered him because it was so it was so traumatic. You replaced him in your memory with a dog. That would be kind of funny. That's the actual plot of Sherlock. Oh. The show that got really bad. Yeah, was that supposed to be taken seriously? Yes, actually. Oh. <laughs> and just like this, it had zero setup, so it was subverting nothing. They were just making stuff up, then being like, well, actually, completely insane explanation for the thing that isn't subverting anything anyway, so they could have just not done this. He sold his house, right? Didn't a cute girl move in there? Of course you'd remember that. It. Didn't you and Michael have a falling out? He moved away, you went to hang out with him, and he had given you the wrong address or something like that? If Michael went to all the different realities, wouldn't he be the first person to realize this, not us? But he's not the protagonist, Keith. Yeah, sort of. He had me meet him at a mall near his house, and when I got there, he never showed up. That was the last I heard of him. You should go ask him. What time is it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a panda. And it's dark outside. <laughs> the clock says it's 8 a.m. Weren't you going to meet your friends to head to the city at 8.30? You should have been up a while ago, buddy. Also, the sun should probably be up. Yeah. Oh, it's oh wait, no, it's, uh, it's December. I feel like even, it is December, I mean, well, it's January now. Mm. But I feel like even now, and I can say this because I have to wake up really early yeah, for my job. Yeah, the sun's up by then, isn't it? It is up by like yeah. s at least it's up by it's, seven. Yeah, it's more that it, it's more that the sun goes down way faster, but it kind of rises around the same time, doesn't it? Jordan? No, I mean it rises early. Wait, because the days are shorter during the winter. Yeah, I don't know. It, I, I, I just tell you for sure, like right, I, I left right behind now. waking up when it's dark outside. Once I finished high school. <laughs> yeah, that's and not... I never came back. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Okay, let's get going. That kind of, like, timekeeping only works for, like, farmers. Yeah, that always feels so pointlessly fucked up. It's like, why? I, I think it's I think it's just a work around with people's work schedules or something. Because, like, it seems so needless the way that, that uh, high school makes you wake up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. It's like... It's like sleep-depriving the fuck out of everybody that we're, that's trying to do exclusively educational stuff. No, they've, they've proven that people don't retain as much when they have to do that, but it is it is to work Whichever around. Whichever one has to do. Because a lot of parents work at like 8 or 9, and so they have to like... Dad? Oh my gosh! He doesn't oh, look... Dear, the little girl next door who moved into Michael's house was looking for you. 
I'm gonna snap my neck. Yeah, he doesn't look right at all. Dad? That's my name. Unless you can think of a better one. That's my name. Could be something with more shimmer, like Antonio von Engelstendel. What? Where's Pom? <laughs> that never gets old. He's wearing like Michael Sarah Juno running shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I like that scene where she's describing it and she's, well, she's, she's meat swords is what she says. Meat swords. Meat swords, yeah. <laughs> there's a, I'm reading Snot Girl and in that there's a bunch of bros that all call them Zords. <laughs> Zords. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> that never gets old. He gets old, Keith. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> that Why? Never gets old. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, that's fun. I like this. I like this better. <laughs> Time to have a meltdown. There's a battery in the trash. This music's kind of. You're not kinda... supposed to throw out batteries. This is kind of jazzy. Uh, is this Blues Clues? Uh. We just figured out Blues Clues. We just figured out Blues Clues. That's not. We that's just figured out Blues the... Clues because no. we're very smart. Oh, I guess that is how it goes. I was thinking yeah. that, that's the, we just got a letter song, too. Look at the angry, angry sun! No, oh. angry fire. That's the sun. <laughs> happy sun. This ain't no Mario sun. It's a happy sun. Ooh, fire. And here comes the Majora's Mask or Meteor. Hey, man! What took you so long to get here? Rory's just always sad. <laughs> Aww. We've been waiting here forever! What's going on? We're going to see the ball drop in the city. Duh. We've been planning this forever. You okay, dude? You look terrible. Yeah, maybe you should sit in the back seat, far away from me in case you barf. That means you can't get out in time. Speaking from experience. Seriously, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Let's let's get going. I've had that where it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. And I'm like in the, I'm in like the back, like the third row of an SUV that only has doors on the, for the first two rows. And it's like somebody has to open the door and get out and fold the uh, seat open and it's all in a huge panic hurry. And I think I wasn't even behind the seat that folds open, so I had to, I had to like crawl over two people to get to the seat that opens. It was an emergency. Yeah, no, there's a certain kind of dread and panic when you're in a situation where you realize that you have to throw up, but you're not in a position to do it in a way that's yeah. private. <laughs> they are to Vela badly. Yeah, they didn't do... Uh... Why did they outline her head? Why? Did they... no, that's not how anyone else is drawn. Yeah, I know they kind of screwed that up. It's Everyone, weird. Yeah, every single person's lines stop when they get to the hair. But then they just, like, they drew her like she's wearing a weird, like, mask around her face. Man, tonight we are gonna party like it's 1999! It is. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to kick off the new millennium in style! When was that song written? Was it written in 1999? Or is it was it written, like, in retrospect? I think it was newer. I think it's from before 1999? Based around the, the silly idea that it would be the end of the world. It's like a party like the world's ending. You know, I, I realized that the fire is you. Is it as uh, an Alex meteor? It's an Alex fire. Uh, I can't remember the last time I did something fun for the new year. Would you say that that meteor is Alex terrestrial? Oh my! <laughs> we should leave now if we want to get shopping in before the new year. <laughs> How can you even think about shopping? Uh... Wasn't it just Christmas? Exactly! All the best stuff is on sale now! Uh, consumerism. Yay! As we drove to the city, I knew something was wrong. Okay, you look, look at you in comparison to everyone else. <laughs> Not even the same size. No. Looking around at my friends, I felt
felt as if I was looking at poorly drawn pictures of them. I, or the yes. artist's crude abilities had just barely captured enough of their essence to show me who they were supposed to be. I mean, this is like the biggest accomplishment the artist has made so far. <laughs> Something had been wrong for a while now. Why did I feel like this? Why was it that when I looked at Vela, I felt as if I was looking at someone else altogether? When I looked at Proto Michael, Proto -Michael. I felt like I was looking at a beautiful image that was stained. Oh. His features were too rounded. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Claudio, Chandra, how are they even talking? I looked at their mouths moving up and down and felt a strange detachment to them. You still call him Proto Michael when he's wearing a shirt? As if they were speaking a foreign language without making a sound at all. I turned to the Essentia. Her face felt blurry and out of focus. Have you figured it out? No. What's happening? This reality has already started to break. But this didn't start today, did it? Have you ever played Parappa the Rappa? I see. <laughs> so you have noticed. You can see how the art's working. They can't turn these characters. Because they all have a black uh, polygonal character model behind the wireframe. Like if you look at her arm in front of my head, yeah. you can actually see the boundaries of where her 3D model is, and this is just a 2D thing propped up in front of it. So if it, if it turns at all, you just see a weird black blob. It's like when they do those stage shows where they have people all like dressed in completely yeah. black suits and they're holding like objects that you can see. So it's like you can't see them in the background, but they're like yeah. ghosts. Only just today. I'm pretty oblivious to things I don't want to see, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, especially when I just sleep for a week. Yeah, it's kind of bad timing, because it's like save the world and all. So, would you like me to clear some things up? You have eye drops? Of course. Give it to me straight. When someone leaves a reality, a place for a new soul to enter that reality becomes available. Our souls are in constant transit if we do not enter the soul space and take direct control. So this Michael here is not the Michael from your childhood. Proto Michael is, as he is a combination of all Michaels. <laughs> the ultimate so did Michael. Old Michael leave this reality? No. This reality is shattered. Lost souls in the soul space are slipping in and out of it. So all previous explanations of how the universe works were irrelevant because we're in a special reality where those rules don't actually apply and it's the only one we get to see, so that exposition was just a dead end. Hooray! So, mm. Claudio and Chandra? That is one I'll let you figure out yourself. It will be good for you. Allow me to start at the beginning. You belong to this reality. So does Sammy. When Sammy left, Vela took her place. I took advantage of Sammy leaving this reality and forced my spirit into this physical space. Understand so far? So you didn't really swap, you just like forced your way in, which is not- You just said you have to like- Just came in and replaced Sammy. Yeah, but Vela already did that. Wait, yeah, wait. Was Vela not- was Vela not here until the day we met her, basically? So she got that job pretty fast. Yeah, I feel like that part wasn't established at the time. That she was brand new there. Yes. Michael, like Rory, Chandra, Claudio, and myself, are important to you in every reality. Kind of remarkable how every cutscene is them re-explaining the same idea, but poorly. So it has to be re-explained again, well, but poorly. Yeah, they they, re they explain it, but then by doing so, they they uh, like contradict how, what they had previously explained. So it's like, explain it yeah. over and over again like, like at different Like how much intervals. of this game's dialogue has been them re-explaining not very well this exact idea again and again, and then just kind of trying again over and over again. If a game is really good, you really you don't have to explain anything. This is actually more re-explanation of the same ideas than Death Stranding ever did. It at least had new yeah, things to talk about said, continuously had, instead of the same thing over and over again. It had too many things to talk yes. about that were all different. This is this is like rehashing the same idea, but every time it's, it's almost like playing telephone, where every time they explain the idea, they they change one little aspect of it on accident, and then they have to like. They have to like continuously keep us up to date on like the mutation of the single idea because every time they explain it they fuck something up and it confuses us as the players. And the next time they have to explain it again because they do something again that contradicts our expectations of what that idea is once that we think we have it solidified. They like change it again One and they have to explain it again. 
for a convoluted game like this, I think of like Zero Escape, and like one of the most con one of the most like damning things I've ever seen was that the wiki for Zero Escape, because I was trying to look into like a particular plot hole that I was dealing with when I was done with the game already, and there's like discussions and arguments happening all the time and so on. I look up a particular plot point to revisit it, and the fucking Wikipedia explanation of it used the phrase for some reason. Which is a hell of a thing to have from like the official fan explanation, like the, the like the from the like most prominent site that would be trying to explain the thing made by fans. That's their explanation. They don't have a reason for something. And like I feel like that's a lot of what I, we would have if there was enough of a fandom for there to be wikis and even a single walkthrough that isn't made by the creator of this game. When this reality broke, they entered. So. A version of Michael, Rory, Chandra, and Claudio all come to this reality. For what? To find you. To find me. We are going to help them. You said we were going to let... I thought she said she was going to let us figure it out, but then she just... <laughs> made us know that yes, Claudio and Chandra aren't from this reality either, apparently. But didn't know that. Um, somehow. Do you Why that? does Vela know about changing realities, but everyone else changes realities without knowing? Rory's not from this reality? But did she lo did he lose his sister because he jumped realities but didn't realize it? So he's like, where's my sister? And nobody knows- no one seems to know that my sister exists. My stupid, horrible mom is, well, was like pretending nothing's wrong. And it's like, it's because she doesn't have a sister here. And never did. So he just imagined a missing sister this whole time. Or didn't imagine, but it's from a different reality. Because that's actually kind of clever, if that's what, they're, what that part was. I mean, that would be vaguely interesting. That would be the only- that'd be one of the few effective forms of uh, foreshadowing in this game. I do want to point out that I don't know exactly what this song is saying, but it's saying some weird stuff. <laughs> I'm not someone you get to rule. So you're like- this voice is hard to understand. <laughs> not welcome anymore. No, you're paying for all my sins. You're not welcome anymore. Na 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 Every once in a while I hear some line about like a crack in the sky or something. A creature in the sky got sucked in a hole. Now there's a hole in the sky <laughs> and the ground's not cold. But if the ground's not cold, everything is gonna burn. We'll, t we'll all take turns. I'll get mine too. You know what that is? Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. Uh, it's the Pixies. This monkey gone to heaven. That's How? a good song. This reality is broken. And from what I can tell, it's been broken for a long time. I do not know. We must first see what form you take to destroy this reality. If Crack was, in the sky. If there was an established... If we were supposed to see the reality Sad getting worse lullaby. over time, they forgot to show that. Because we had a base level norm for what reality was like. Because we were immediately being like, Yo, this is Earthbound, you fight weird monsters all the time with records. So it's like, it was immediately weird. So... I don't know what was supposed to feel weird in this game. And it never got weirder really over time. No. It much was just that. The only weird thing was discovering mind dungeons, but that wasn't like, that didn't reflect reality. That was just, by the way, mind dungeons exist. You didn't know that before. And, like, they literally wasted an opportunity of, like, the fact that the game had, like, a... It was, like, a month and a half real-time passing calendar part of the game where they never established over the course of it that reality was getting weirder. They literally could have just had milestones sprinkled throughout that on a weekly basis where people are talking about the escalating fuckery of what's going on with this dimension as it's falling apart or whatever. And they just didn't do that. They even have a whole website, so they can have outside perspectives of all of the people around the world that could be witnessing different things. And that website also didn't say anything. 
they uh, they uh, put up a post about collectible cards. <laughs> that's what they did at that time. So, so the, the, that's cool. <laughs> the, the strange weirdness is not it's not like noticeable. They, it's not yeah, they completely to forgot anyone. to have any kind of escalation. We just no. get here the day of. It's like, well, it's a fucking chalk zone now. Well, like you said, they couldn't transition his character. They couldn't transition. Yeah. Setting. They don't. They don't know how to establish or escalate to something. They just know how to say it happened now. And that's it. Rudy's got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk, chalk zone. That is what, that is what this looks like. If it wasn't you, it would be me. Or Rory. Or Claudio. We Why isn't it? capable of destruction. We can create or destroy. The choice is ultimately yours. Then I choose not to destroy this reality. Excellent. Now, if only your parallel selves agreed. Blinding rays of the <laughs> that was sun. Really clear. I spent the duration of the two hour road trip ignoring the happy and excited laughter of my friends. Two hour road trip? Where are we go? There's somewhere that's two hours away in this island? <laughs> Is that the impl implied travel time we've always had every time I get in a car? You see, yeah, you have just been gone for days then. Over again in my head. I thought back to when I first arrived in Frankton. Everything felt so different. This game took place over a year. Seeing Michael again, it seemed so normal for him to live next to me. Yeah, it's almost like that was the only established premise we had so far, so there was nothing to base it on, because it was the first five minutes of the video game. Then we met Vela, and that felt the most real out of all the things that had happened so far. How do you gauge the realness of your day-to-day -day behavior? Yeah, I was I was just wondering that. Do you regularly just rate your day-to-day -day server in life and how real you think each moment was? Do you, how real do you think today was, Keith? Uh... How did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Where do you think we are? Keith, we've been here the whole time. What yes. are you talking about? Yes, we have. About? I haven't left this room, uh, or especially this building. You were born in, here. Like, a week. <laughs> <laughs> My god, is there even an outside world? Do you even have a dad? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ask him. What had she been running from? Why did she leave this reality? Probably for the best. This reality has gone to literal shit. It's not what the word is. That's not literal. Is. Did she perhaps sense that the end was coming? Was her reality torn apart along with mine? Did she sense the end was coming? Well, she was screaming, no, no, don't let them take me, oh god, no, help. And then she was crying purple? I don't think she was- I don't think she loved that. I think she was into that. I thought about the mind dungeon. I had never heard of a mind dungeon before, and yet I accepted it. She really is like this corpse doll that he can keep projecting every emotion onto, and to the point where it never even reflects anything that he, she ever, he ever experienced with her. Like, wow, maybe she left on purpose. What? <laughs> I, sometimes, I'll be like at work or something, and I'll have an interaction with somebody, and then I'll think about that, where I'm like, I wonder... How they're going to tell themselves the story of that interaction. <laughs> yes. And like, and then if you ever encounter them again, you understand that they did tell themselves a different story of the encounter. And you just, it's just, I feel like there are people out in the world that exist in this way, and it's creepy. It's, mm -hmm. it's fun to think about. Why are you leading them on? Just yeah, why did I smile at them? They'll think about it forever. Mind. There you can toughen up and learn to do magic. Magic? It was also obvious from the start. This wasn't my reality. Mind dungeons. Cats with mustaches. Beautiful women who come in and out of my life. Mysterious pan-dimensional androids. Why would mind dungeons not be true to this reality? Are they not true to all realities? If Bella already knew about mind dungeons and she's not from this reality. That's a bad starting example. I think the beautiful woman coming in and out of his we're, life are definitely not a part of his reality. And we're supposed to suddenly question the cat with the mustache, of all things? Yeah, of all things. Of all things in this no. game. You want to yeah, the cat with the mustache. I don't know if reality is real anymore. Bring up that llama again. I think we again. all live in a simulation after all. It's Elon Musk's right. This cat's got a mustache. It's crazy. <laughs> this wasn't my life. Of course something had to be wrong. I had sensed it all along. But I was so intrigued by the fun and mystery of it all. Who wouldn't be? 
Who wouldn't be? You know how like Undertale has like a profound message to tell you by the end of the game? parking in the city without even trying on New Year's Eve. This really was a warped oh, no. reality. You can't interrupt it anymore. But you know how Undertale, like it all built up to a profound message? Yes. This game's like, they get to the end of Undertale and the message is pretty fucked up how you're finding like dogs in armor, huh? It's pretty weird. Yeah, remember that? Remember that time you. Why, you, you, why didn't you think that was weird? That's pretty weird, right? You this won by, by petting him? His, that makes no sense. His neck got all long. Things aren't right. If he's got a super long neck, why is he called the lesser dog? That's weird. You're weird. The end. <laughs> Did you vibe with a ghost? Weird. This isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> you were sleeping the whole time. <laughs> uh, what is this fucking Shibuya? Oh my god. Oh, it's so creepy. It's like with the crowd. Well, look at the little feet. Yeah, the little tabby feet. It's really weird because their body doesn't move to match that. They're little penguins. But like, in a, like a higher quality version, this is exactly what Tokyo Mirage Sessions looked like in Shibuya Square. All the random crowds of people are just colors, so you can tell the, you can fight, pick out the characters from the crowd. It's actually a nice effect for being able to parse everything and tell what's important. Uh, everyone drives around in like those little like high school like woodblock cars to ma the match the high they school the matchbox cars. I guess middle school, elementary school. I don't think people play with matchbox cars when they're in or high school. It? Well, not like the um, soapbox racers. Yeah, because Matchbox cars are, it's a Matchboxes brand of... are really small, so I guess those are like Hot Wheels, huh? I'm thinking like the wood blocks that you try to make into cars for like science class. Yeah, so, so oh wait, racing. no, soapbox racers are the ones that people are racing, huh? I think so. There's just like wood block racing cars you make, and everyone tries to compete to make the fastest one. And we all pretend that the kids are competing, but actually the dads are competing. Yes, that, that, My dad that is like mind the fuck out, and we won super hard. He put metal weights inside of it. <laughs> he, he hollowed it out and filled it with metal. <laughs> that that will do it. <laughs> Look, I don't care. I'm eight. <laughs> oh wow! I won. We won something. What is happening? Oh, there's little blocks that you can't walk by, it, but they're really hard to see because the camera's so far away. Godzilla and just wreck all this stuff with your mad anger. Let them fight. <laughs> Whoa, what the whoa. fuck? <laughs> Did you see Vela? Vela. <laughs> wishing I could tell them how I was feeling, but I knew it was coming. I feel like they think just being wacky and crazy, and that's so weird. It's like the same thing as being profound. Well, they're hoping you can't tell the difference. Hey, cat. No. Nah, With your weird butthole nah, mouth. Nah, 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 nah. They, God, they look weird. None of them look like they're walking. <laughs> they're, they're like weirdly horrifying. Food. food. Enter the food hole. With food. You can't. No food for you. Took a while, but eventually oh. I found the right A spot to press A on. That's stupid. Why are they all 3D now? Would we survive the night? Would this reality continue to exist? Did we already give up on them being 2D? What would happen to our souls? I kind of wanted to see a boss fight where everyone was a, was a 2D man. I, I like the, the 2D part. And make them remember, but were these even the same friends I was with the past year? They could have redone the perspective of all the combat to look like Paper Mario. <laughs> With a little 2D people. I remember like the last dinner I went to before, like at the beginning of the COVID lockdown. And I was just sitting there with a bunch of friends. We're all getting text messages about like what our work prospects would be. Cause some of us like got, uh... They ran out of polygons. This is really neat looking. Yeah. But it was just very ominous us all sitting at the table and we're like, well, I guess we'll see each other eventually, right? <laughs> and then you never saw them again. Yeah, I haven't seen them for over almost a year now. Ooh! <laughs> I hate it. Ooh! What does this one say? Something DX, you're gonna get, you're gonna see stars. And... 90... Senkai? 
Ninth, ninth ninja sen. There's a little finger pointing. DX. At me. Little things. You're gonna see stars. Ninja Senki DX. Well, that's kind of cool. Like that. Is that one? Is like There's a, a lot of anime on these billboards. Yeah. Where are we? That's how you, apparently anime is evidence that reality is shutting down. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Is it Super Motendo? What does it say? Defiance? And. Oh. Where are you looking at? Uh, our robot. Defiance by Essentia. I think it's a band. I think it's an album. That one screens blue screening. Uh, you, you see how that what happens when the camera approaches these people? They like bend over backwards. Oh. They get knocked over like like guess who, uh, domino things. It's 11:55 p.m. We're all going to die. Oh wow, we lost lost a lot of time here. I don't know how, but I can feel it in my bones. So it ends. Look, they have the top that top ramen advertisement. See? And it has like the steam coming out. Top. That's a famous it one. It is genuinely the top ramen. <laughs> Explorer card? Oh. <laughs> Majora's Mask, but bad. Like one of my favorite Zeldas. Oh. Are you a boss fight? What the hell is that? Oh my god! This is all so familiar! <laughs> <laughs> Once again. This is it. This is the end. Why was today the day that Michael puts his shirt back on? Because they need him to make this face because it's, it's the only one that's even they don't slightly wide. Try it again. They don't. Because the, the guy, the person who made the sketches for earlier, didn't want to make draw Michael with a, with a with shirtless. So they just so then this whole chapter he had to wear a shirt again. Why can <sighs> Okay guys, we trained for this. <sighs> did, did we? A month ago I trained. After the month passed, I kinda kept walking in and out of a room. Guys, remember we all sat around and talked? What do you mean we trained for this? Isn't that Alex's face? Holy shit! Don't worry, Rory, you're not gonna do anything. You never do anything. What? There he goes. Everyone! This is it! Prepare yourselves! Is he wearing a shirt or not? Michael! You're back! Wait, what? I never left. The better Michael's back. He's like Yu-Gi-Oh! I remember everything now! Yeah, he's like Yugi! Yeah! When the Millennium Puzzle Box thing <laughs> turns on. I almost said the Millennium Falcon. Uh, the Millennium Box thing activates and he gets harsher eyeliner and he's like real and he's he taller. is extra edgy yeah <laughs> he gets three feet taller <laughs> and no one notices <laughs> except in this case it's just like michael takes his shirt off and then like goes he just spits in his hand and goes and then it's like what's less his, his hair back <laughs> and then he's like it's me proto michael keith you can just start being proto keith i hate it i hate this whole idea <laughs> what's happening i hope that means you all remember what's going on here no didn't they all wait? Oh, so we were supposed to think they didn't know what today was until Because they were all being weird. Because they were being yeah. Come on! Let's knock my ugly mug back into space! Alright. They just turn on him. I remember thinking. This is how we die. What should have been a bright future is nothing more than a bunch of kids who thought they could make a difference. A bunch of kids who fought a losing battle. Or the blinding rays of the sun. Sometimes you can hear the voices <laughs> over him. You don't really want vocals in your background music during dialogue. It's voice. Look at this little wee. Oh my god, he's so small. Why is he so itty bitty? We, uh... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> he's level 35? Oh. What? He's level 35? <laughs> Shit. Wait. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even understand Shit. the threat. Shit. <laughs> what is the threat this guy poses? Oh God, I don't want 4,000 damage to him. I almost killed him instantly. 
You must have phases? Wait, what happened to my follow-up hit cold? Wait, why is he not dead? Die. I killed you. He's out of health. Why is this fight still happening? <laughs> He's so funny looking. <laughs> no, don't give me Rory. She's useless. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Is this what people react like when I sing? <laughs> but you you didn't try is... you didn't think you were so good that you should be officially put in like the What is this? Song? The soundtrack to an, a video game that is released. Is it gonna be public. like type zero? I just to slowly watch everyone lose, and it's not really real. But did I train for a fake boss fight where you don't do stuff? Alex. Alex. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is a real boss fight. I don't think my level matters. No, I don't think so either. I just don't understand what 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 threat does this thing pose? Michael, get take him next. Leave Claudio. Did, like dad? Did this? It's just it's just literally just it's just, it is it is literally a comet with his face on it. <laughs> yep. And wacky wavy inflated alarm two men arms. I don't understand what it is planning on doing to the Earth. I don't understand I mean, why- apparently its very existence is like unmaking reality into a computer program Wh silly facsimile thing. Why is it scary? It is definitely <laughs> not scary. He was way scarier before he landed. <laughs> now he's just dancing. He looked way bigger when he, before he landed too. Do you think all this all this music is sung by the creator? I don't know. It's, it seems like it might be the same guy. That was in the, the first room. He, he dismisses the same room. He, there's so little. There's so little going on right now that he's he literally banishes the same slot of the party every time. It's always the second person. It's not even random. Uh, I think this is the same singer that did the music that we just revisited to the girl room with the statues. Oh no! No, I, I think yeah. so too. I, I know. I know it's like all the same singer. This song is the same as, or the singer is the same as the last song. I'm just wondering if it's the creator, and he just he just inserted his own music. Wow, that's a long one. I can't get over the fact that we looked up. I googled something completely unrelated, and the first result was the Y2K creator isn't taking feedback very well. <laughs> Not even what I looked up. <laughs> that's just the most prominent story. About I, see, I, I think about it might game. be what a lot of people might might look up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I wish the visual style of this game came with a better game. This is a. I'm like fascinated Goodbye. though. This is enthralling in a certain way. I really just don't understand why you think that this was a good idea. It's so goofy. It's so goofy. My thing doesn't spin enough times anymore. I don't know why. Some of these mini games used to last longer. And you know what's funny is I feel like we're supposed to feel all sad about the characters that are disappearing. But I don't feel anything. No one reacts. They're probably dead, or they're in a mind dungeon, I guess. Like, how, how would you f how would you feel as the player right now yeah, if, if they were all dead? Blurped out of existence right in front of me. I think we're supposed to feel something the about Century that. The Century 2000s next. We didn't even care when we didn't even react when Vela was gone. Oh, they got rid of Claudio. I guess the Century has to has to stick around. All right, goodbye, all my friends. Anyway, back to attacking this guy that has once again no health left. So this is a fake boss fight. I didn't even do the minigame right, I fucked it up and missed, and he still survived. Ah. 
It's hard. But only when I compare it to my own goals and not how the fight works. I misses. Are you guys gonna be at an impasse now? Am I supposed to be doing something? Panda! PP. Oh no! Oh, I don't remember this one. Have you ever used that one before? <laughs> just self Kill me! <laughs> tranquilize the target? I don't know. What does this game want for me right now? Uh, that's how I like tranquilize people is with a knife. He's asleep. So you have to wait longer for him to I finish just this. I just put him to sleep! <laughs> I'll swap with my no characters. Wow. Defend? <laughs> PK fire. He's recharging. That's how she gets health back, apparently. <laughs> this is exciting. This is an exciting boss fight. All right, I put, I put, I put the Majora's Mask Moon to sleep, and now we're just staring at him. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Is this a puzzle fight? Is he ever gonna wake up? <laughs> you might be- you, what if you just like, screwed yourself over, and now you're stuck here forever? Was I supposed to banish him with Vela, who's gone? Why is Essentia not- why is it impossible for, for Essentia to die? Here, I'll do it. Woo! <laughs> 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 Is it stuck? <laughs> oh my god, did I bug out the fight or something? Be brave, Alex. The end is... near. Da da da. I think you broke it. <laughs> what the fuck? What do they want from me? I tried experimenting with stuff and I broke the fight. This game's such fucking trash. Holy shit. What do you want from me? He just wasn't... He kept banishing everyone until he got to the two of us, and then his banish didn't work anymore. I kept saying I missed. And then I put him to sleep, and then I exploded. <laughs> and that breaks the fight, apparently. You can't defeat his tw his his Slim Jim <gasps> arms. What, what did you just do? For the first time ever, left trigger made time energy drain. It's gone now, I used it up. What is it, what is it supposed to do? I don't know, it's never worked, ever. I've tried so many times. All I had to do was break the game and to unbreak that mechanic. It's not this a mistake. It's not a mistake. <laughs> it's no use. Take this. 